I was on my way to Maryland to find Goodwills, um, but I had to stop and get gas. And I just so happened to stop in Shrewsbury where there is a Goodwill. It's a small Goodwill, uh, but we are sitting outside of this Goodwill and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. This is a smaller Goodwill. I've only been here once before. I drove all this way to come to this Goodwill and I was like, oh, this is really small. I don't think I'm ever making this trip again. But hey, since we're passing by, why not? Let's see what we can find. There just isn't very much hard goods and that's what I'm looking for, so. That's kind of neat. Oh, there's a giant crack on it though. I don't want a cracked planter. There's a sweet kitty figurine made in Taiwan. Oops, some chickens. <laughs> I almost knocked over that angel. Home coat. Now I remember the music's really loud in here too. I think the last time I had to do a voiceover. Hopefully it's not an issue this time around. Kind of fancy looking. Is she a Lennox angel? I don't know. She looks pretty fancy. Maybe I'll try to look her up. She's $4.99. Gosh. <laughs> like, what is that? Oh, that's a squirrel. All right, then. What is this thing? That is a something. I can't read it. <laughs> Sarah, oh, Pura Foy collection. Of course that's what it is. Alrighty. Over here we have some fancy bowls. Some Iris herringbone. Some Mikasa. There is a dragonfly dish. Favorite things. This looks like it might glow for $2.99. Just add in there in case we decide to have a glowy sale at some point. There's some older glass. There's the vase section. Uh, I think this one is. I don't know. I think it's just made to look vintage. A bunch of shot glasses down there for anyone who wants to have a party. Just come and you can buy the whole box. Sur instant souvenir shot glass collection. This looks like a. Is that a trash can? Hand wash only. <laughs> Maybe it's not a trash can. I don't know. <laughs> Are there, I, I mean, you could. I just. I've, usually a trash can is a trash can. I don't know of anyone who hand washes their trash can. I just usually put a bag in it, and that's that. <laughs> you can hand wash that trash can. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, I'm gonna look this up just to see if it is in fact Lennox, because I have been fooled before into thinking um, that the Chinese or the Taiwan versions of, well, the Lennox lookalikes um, are in fact Lennox. So I'll look that up real quick, because if it's not Lennox, it's not worth picking up that. <laughs> Hi, fishy. Four ninety nine cross fish. I mean, it's probably either made in China or Mexico, and it's got a broken fin. Okay, never mind. I was a little excited for a moment, but of course, its fin is broken. All right, never mind. I want to put it back. I could not find one um, that matched as Lennox. Uh, she's very pretty. I know she's probably worth more than uh, four ninety nine, even though she's not Lennox. But um, I'm just gonna get my glowy glass, I think. Kind of a fantastic <laughs> creamer. However, there is a chip on the bottom and I'm just standing here staring at this bird and I'm like, I want to take you home with me. It's old Foley Chinese Rose. And I love it so much. It's only two and I'm like, put it back. It's got a chip. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. It's got a chip. Sometimes things with chips still have value. More on that to come. 
in future videos. I mean, there was a vase once that was worth $16,000 that I put back because I was told that I shouldn't buy things with chips. <laughs> okay, I'm standing here considering my dish because the line is super long, but hopefully it goes by quickly. Otherwise, I might go put it back. I don't know if it's worth standing in line. Oh, wait, look at this. This is neat. We'll check this out while we're standing in line. Those are cattails. Those are kind of cool. There's only one of them, though. I feel like there would have been a set and there would have been some geese or something, right? Oh, look, the line's moving. Let's keep going. Uh, there's a confinement store here. Oh, no. Oh, look who it is. Who this is called Freedom Consignments. And I have been giving permission to film in here. And uh, we're gonna check it out. So this is similar to Finders Keepers, but it is not a Finders Keepers. Um, so you can see here, the prices drop. It's a similar format here on the tags. So that's exciting. Let's see what we can find. Um, looks to be a lot of furniture, but there are smalls sprinkled throughout. And who knows? Maybe we'll find some nice furniture. I'm in the market for a hutch, a mid-century modern china cabinet, um, to put in our dining room. So I'm actively looking, but we'll see. This is really nice. What is this? This is... So the date today is not quite... June 11th, so it would be 129. I don't know if this is vintage. I can't tell. I know this is this kind of stuff is making a comeback, so they're they're making it, and some of it is contemporary. But that's really cool. Let's look at this guy. <laughs> He's so cute. What is this? I mean, it's contemporary. It's made in China. It doesn't say what it's contributed to, so it must just be like. Export thing. <laughs> I really like this cat. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking to myself, I just bought a cat. I think it was last week um, to put in my garden. So I don't really need one. I don't know. I might buy this. I might buy this one. All right, I'm gonna buy this one too. It's coming with me. And then over here, I noticed some carnival glass. It has a pretty um, amethyst base color. You can see if you hold it to the light, there is an amethyst base to it. I really wish I knew what the day was. Um, I think it's the 5th. Who says the 9th? Let me check. I'm going to check on the day. It's the 8th. <laughs> Today is June 8th. So that means that um, the price is $10, but um, that's really pretty. I love the coloring on that, so we're going to pick that up as well. I was kind of eyeing that uh, depression glass box down there, but my hands are full now, so I think we're gonna take this up front and maybe we'll circle back. Let's check out this bird face. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I don't know if we can slide it out of there. Come here, birdie. That's so great. 45 and 10% off. Oh, there is a marking on that. KN, KM. I don't know, Kia, <laughs> 2016, that's so great, yeah, we'll take that 45 and 10% off, and then it looks like lots of jewelry and other goodies in here, I'm so glad we stopped in, this is great, I thought this was really neat, this black and white piece um i did leave the cabinet open but she's she's working on it right now she just brought in her stuff to stock so don't come for me i usually close them <laughs> all right let's keep moving we'll move this way i thought this was a cool set it's like a statement set but i feel like in the summer that's when you're when you're wearing shorts and your legs just stick to it you know but it does look really cool my, I didn't realize they were remaking these. J. 
Jadeite Fire King 2000. They are, I wonder if they're marked repops. Gosh, that's good to know. <laughs> All right, so we're in the back of the store now. They've got a lot of um, kitchen stuff here. Those are adorable. Looks to be about five bucks each. I'm always picking up these little dishes, but not this time. I think this is Fold's Graph, but only because I've bought those before. We're gonna go this way. What is this? Subtil, not subtle, subtil. Made in Portugal. It looks like there was a repair on it. Yes. I love this so much. $2.89. I'm usually not for painting furniture, but I really love the color they used on this. It looks really nice. Oh, look. What does it say? Faith is when you close your eyes and open your heart. I like that. Sometimes when these mid-century modern pieces have a veneer on them <laughs> and it starts to peel, painting them really is the only option, unfortunately, but I think this came together really nicely. <laughs> Fat cat. Very cute. I'm looking for something to store the coffee in. Something with a seal. Those are nice. A lot of the vintage um, canisters don't have that seal. Um, so I'm looking for something contemporary with a good seal that, you know, has a nice look to it. So that's something to consider, but I don't know. $34.95. That's really pretty. Pink base. Polished bottom. Hmm. Maybe I'll take that with me as well. Now my hands are filled up again. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going this way. Place. It's been a long time since I came through here. In fact, they, this used to be in a different um, storefront, so they actually moved since the last time I was here. All right, and we're back. Okay. Let's go this way. Now that's the bottom of the box. Okay. And the inside's like that too, but it's smeared. Do you think somebody spray painted it? Gold? No, I don't okay. think so. Um, because it looks just like when I Google lens the box. Oh my gosh, but that's look at this. so cool. Vicki, you'll, you'll appreciate this. It's a hand. It's a pin. But they're playing jack, getting ready to play, oh, And that's a piece of Bakelite. That Isn't that cool? That is so neat. Where's the one that's there? I don't know. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna keep I've it. never seen it. Yeah. No, but I Google lensed it last night. That's worth <coughs> three hundred and some dollars. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. I know. <laughs> Did you find anything else cool in there? No, just a bunch of shells. Um, these are the shells. Um, this but, is pretty cool too. Yeah, though. it's broken apart. But um, you know, these few little patches. But when I saw that, it was just like, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's so fun. Yeah. yeah, I always love to get into stuff like this, uh -huh. and then to find something like that—that's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> because I looked at it at a glance when I was taking it back, and yeah. I thought, oh. and then later on in the day, I thought, well, okay, I'm back here looking. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take a 
Those are fun. Look through backs. it, and I found that, and it was just like, and, and the thing is that it was just laying like this. Yeah. I didn't even see any of it before. I thought, oh man, that's cool. And then I flipped it oh, over. Oh, you didn't even know right away when you did <laughs> No, it just looked like a bunch of shells. I think and this is a bicycle reflector. Yeah, yeah, yeah something of that nature. But that's not gold or anything this either. Thing. Just an interesting bead. A ring? A fancy ring? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> All right, Oops, all right, sorry, that's I probably the coolest wanted. thing. Oh, yeah, it <laughs> definitely is. Yeah, I picked through it, but yeah, I just... Well, that was fun. Um, didn't find a whole lot at the Goodwill, obviously, um, but I feel like we made up for that next door at Freedom Consignments. I shouldn't say next door. Next door is an adult beverage place, but next door to that is Freedom Consignments. Um, and it was really fun. Um, the staff was super friendly, and we got some good stuff. I liked seeing that um, breakdown in the prices again. Um, that was great. But I think we're gonna move on now. Our total spend was $107. I don't know if I said that, um, but we got some fun stuff. I really loved that bird vase. Then that pink art glass vase, she said, um, is supposedly very old and came from an estate. So I don't know who makes it. I just thought it was really pretty and I liked seeing that polished base. So I'll have to do a little research on that. Um, I think it could be bohemian we'll see um anyway i'm gonna get out of here now i'm gonna head on down the road and um i guess i will catch you guys tomorrow so. all right well we are here at the shop today and i figured that we would start picking some items for ebay this week um shelby has loaded us up with some items on the shelves some fresh items and i want to make sure that our shelves stay relatively clear um so i want to stay on top of it and um see what we've got so let's uh let's pick some items for ebay here we go see that shelby sprinkled our shelves with some goodness here um and i i see some goodies that we can probably grab and list for ebay this week i'm gonna try not to cherry pick i have a habit of doing that where i'm like this would do better on whatnot or this but no we're not cherry picking we're gonna love all of the selling platforms equally um this this birdie cup this is actually a whistle andrew's not here so i'm gonna demonstrate ready okay there it goes probably had some schmutz in there that just needed to be cleared out for a second okay um so this is one of the items that i think that we could probably list i was snapping photos had my risers in there. Um, stick this over here, maybe. I was using this <laughs> broken trinket box as a riser, because why not? Um, okay, so we'll start. Item number one, a present. I forgot that it said that on there. This goose, I love this goose. I debated whether to list this as a buy it now, but you know what? He can be sold as an auction goose. We're gonna auction you off, goose. He's just marked ER. I <laughs> just like I look at this goose and I I'm like, are you a folk art piece? Because he has that naivety about him that he could be folk art, but also he could be a high school project. I don't know. He's, he could go either way. It could totally go either way. It is marked E R. You know, Pennsylvania is known for um, their folk art, which is so nice. Like, look at some of the redware that they, the redware figurines. I did just notice that there is a chip here, though, so I'm going to have to list this as is. But, like, some of the figurines, the redware figurines, it's like, that could have been made in high school. But no, they're worth hundreds of dollars. This thing, I didn't know what this was. I feel like it could be a floral frog. Possibly. You guys can help me out in the comments. Floral frog? Maybe. Eh? I don't know. Maybe hopefully by the time that I'm showing you this video, I've figured it out because um, it will be listed. <laughs> this was really nice, and I don't remember if I was able to figure that out who made this, or just did I buy it just because it was pretty? I don't remember. Huh. I don't see any signatures on it, so I think I just bought it because I liked it. Unless that's a signature, but that just looks like a scratch. Yeah, I think 
I just bought that because I like the look of it. I like this added detailing there. I thought that was nice. Granola glass creamer and sugar. This owl we bought recently. Um, that was at the Seneca Canning. Canner? Canning. Canning Company. Sweet little white cat that didn't make it into my cat sale with Kate. This one is made in China. I think I bought this just because I loved the orange. There is a marking on there, but what's interesting about the marking is they actually stamped it over the sticker. Oh no, this that is a sticker. That's a sticker over a sticker. It's just a clear sticker. It's not a stamp. Very light. Owl. Marble, I think. Right? Marble. Um, let's pick some nice glass for this sale. What do we have over here? Jordan Imports Company. Oh, this is this guy. He's going to photograph the best in the white box for sure. My phone is actually about to die this time. <laughs> yeah, it's almost about to die. Um, so I'm going to try to photograph a few more things for the sale. Um, I just cleaned these off with a Lysol wipe. And um, these are the Val St. Lambert. Oh, they were signed. Oh, yeah, right there. VSL stands for Val St. Lambert Crystal. So these are coasters. This Shawnee. 850. Ooh, heavier than I thought. Um, and this is Tonala. It's marked Cozumel, which is a souvenir piece, but um, I thought the front, a lot of the times they'll sign like Cancun on the same side as the design, but this one was on the back, so I thought it could be displayed this side um, and it wouldn't interfere. I just, I'm not really a fan of souvenir pieces. So it's hard to purchase a souvenir piece if you haven't been there. You know, it's like, oh, well, I haven't been to Cozumel, so how am I supposed to buy and display that vase? I don't know. So I gotta wipe this down too with a wipe. Um, so I'm gonna photograph these in addition to everything else I've selected for eBay. And then uh, I guess we'll go from there. I think by then my camera on my phone will have said, I'm done, and um, that'll give me a good start. Um, that'll give me a good start, so we'll go from there. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.